Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for August 27th, 2021. The character the defect and the modifiers are Curse Run. Whenever you defeat a boss, become cursed. Your starting relic is replaced with Curse Key, Dark Stone Parry, Up to Individual. Order, whenever you add a card to your deck, you add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the Merchant, which means every curse I get will be tripled immediately. In Big Game Hunter, elite enemies are now swarming the Spire and drop better rewards. Yeah, this is going to give me a lot of strength and a lot of curses. The problem with the defect is that I'm, I'm going to have a tough time getting rid of those. Uh, but yeah, I do see a few people on the um, top 20 here. Ignatia with 1961, really good. Vorpal following that with 1941. Both good scored. Holographic one tied with them. Uh, let's see my score from yesterday. I'm actually surprised I made it to the top uh, 20. Yeah, I guess, uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't be that surprised. I did um, perfect everything, but yeah, you should check out Ignatius' comments on my video yesterday. He did a really good job and ended up fourth at the end of the day, so that's a pretty good run. Um, I should also point out that, uh, yeah, I, I felt bad. Somebody left a comment that I did reload uh, a stupid elite fight that wasn't even, like, that big of a deal, and and I, I, I'll accept that, you know. I, I shouldn't reload things just because I made a silly mistake. Anyway, all right, so let's start with the Curse Key and Energist at the start of your turn. Whenever you open a non boss chest, you obtain a curse. Dark Stone Perry up is whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max speed by six. And do it all for each curse in your next start, each come with one, one, with one strength. Okay. So obviously, uh, maximizing question mark rooms will be important. And I can only hit one four lead path on the far right, which will give me one, two, three, four question mark, which is not bad. Uh, yeah, there are... Actually, I think I could get a 5 question mark path, but no, let's stick with the question mark 4 elite path. Alright, so the extra energy will help, but I have to remember that I don't have an initial uh, f uh, lightning orb. So let's just double strike, triple strike actually, okay. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to deal with this uh, deck, mostly because uh, once I get a lot of curses, I might just need to pick up some, uh, well, a lot of innate cards maybe, that's the that's key, like Storm or other stuff. FTL, cool headed self repair. Let's go with the FTL. I do need some damage, and three copies of that is probably be better than three copies of cool headed. I don't think I'll do anything here. My deck is going to get really large very quickly, so removing one card is not going to make a big difference. All right, FTL, FTL, FTL again. Okay, nice. And then I can kill you, and probably will be able to kill this guy with the dual cast next turn. Okay. All right, got a block potion. Oof. Unfortunately, my deck is going to get too large, so I think the giant algorithms won't be that useful. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go for the go for the ice instead, right? Yeah, because once I pick up three or four, or well, at the end of this act, I won't be able to really reliably upgrade them. So I don't think giant algorithms are the way to go. All right. Oh, should have done the FTLs first. And then go for the ice, and... Oh, this is not enough to kill, unfortunately. I can fully defend, though. And then any attack will kill next turn. Okay. Alright, got a skill potion, and sweeping beam, turbo, or cool head. I wonder if I should take a cool headed now. No, you know what? I have the extra energy. Let's go with the sweeping beam. Card draw is going to be very important. Okay, remove transform upgrade. Probably transform, because that way I can get another card. Um, probably okay to transform a strike. I feel like I picked up a bunch of other attack cards. Got Okay, finally. I did finally get my cool-headed. All right, got the sentries here. Um, so I cannot fully defend, right? I'm going to try to kill the sentry then. Uh, actually, I can... Ugh, no, see, that's a problem. Even if I weaken, I won't be able to fully defend. Um, all right, let's do sweeping beam first. Okay. Oh, actually, no, I can defend. If I do go for the ice twice and then defend. Awesome. Okay. Might make my next turn a little tougher, but uh, let's get there first. Okay. I do also have some good potions. All right. So here, let's do sweeping beam one and two. Yep. And then uh, let's see. Uh, this gives me 10 block. Let's do cool headed. Okay, hang on. So 10, 12. Yeah, I actually, I just ran out of uh, energy here. Uh, let me see what this gives me. Turbo might work. Yeah, let's just do turbo, defend, defend, and then dual cast, right? Okay. I'd rather keep the block potion for hopefully the boss fight, but, you know, somewhere where I can't use uh, another potion instead. Let's double FDL. That way I don't have to deal with the sentry anymore. Okay. And then I can strike. Let's see if Cool Headed gives me another attack. Very nice. And another one. Okay, good. So far, so good. And I just need two strikes to kill next turn. Or 
Hang on. Sweeping beam and aura defend is enough too. Okay. All right. Got a little lucky and got some good push and draw. So this was easy. We got Mummified Hand. One of you play power card, random card in your hand, cause zero that turn. Okay. And I'm going to only get rare cards after elite fights, right? So I don't think I'll go for Popper. Machine learning is interesting because it does upgrade to be an eight. Um, I do wonder if creative AI might be better, but let's go with the machine learning for now. And I wouldn't mind getting some of those upgraded. Uh, all right. Curse number one, a bunch of max HP as well as frozen egg. One of you add a power card into your deck upgraded. Too bad I got that just now. Okay. All right, Gremlin Knob, uh, let's do FTL, go for the ice, machine learning, defend and strike. Yeah, perfecting this one might be a challenge. Let's see if I can get good lucky. 14, all right, FTL twice, then go for the ice. I do have a block potion, that might work. Let's do sweeping beam, machine learning one and machine learning two. Okay, if I do cool headed and dual cast, I'll no, um, this is tough. All right, let's do strike. I'm just worried that, um, let me do cool headed and then dual cast is not enough, right? So let's drink the block potion and then really hope that I'll get a few attacks next turn. Yeah, I was worried that I would get the uh, regrets. Why did I draw? Uh, hang on, why did I draw so much? Um, oh, oh, right, the, the <laughs> machine learning, that's what it was. Okay, so let's do go for the ass, sweeping beam, sweeping beam. Okay, perfect this one too, thanks to the potion. We got lantern, so I just come with additional energy, as well as, ooh, hyper beam is tempting. I don't rely that much on orbs, but I will probably at some point, right? So let's take the, instead take the core surge. Okay, here I got three copies of injury, as well as art of war. If you do not play any attacks during your turn, get additional energy next turn. I'm up to six strength now. Okay, sentries again. All right, let's do FTL. Sweeping beam one and two. Actually, let's do another FTL. Okay, that way the sweeping beam kills and I can do core search. Oh, you know what? It is way easier when you have six extra strength. We got pair up, big up race from extra by 10 as if I needed that. Uh, definitely not meteor strike. Echo form is nice. All for one would, well, might potentially hit a lot of cards and it might make it possible to get the combo modifier. Uh, yeah, let's take it. I really need some defensive cards because I feel like I have lots of offense, offensive cards right now. Probably don't need Kunai. Um, Rip and Tear would be great with the extra strength. Uh, Steam Bear is fine. I wouldn't mind a Duplication Potion. Let's take the Rip and Tear first. And then probably not Consume. I guess Rebound Steam Bear. At this point, I'm just picking up as many cards as I can, right? And uh, I could do Self Repair, but let's go with the Duplication Potion. Okay. All right, Grimlin Knob again. Uh, okay, can I, well, let's do Cool Headed. Actually, no, let me rebound the Strike, then Cool Headed. That way I can just guarantee that I'm dealing a bunch of damage, okay. All right, no potions to save me this time. Uh, which might be a problem. All right, so let's do Dual Cast. No, Cool Headed first. Okay, then Dual Cast. So I have 12. Uh, now I have 18, and this is not going to be enough. Right? No, it is going to be enough. Okay, good. All right, perfect. And I just need 11 damage next turn, which seems very doable. Perfect. Awesome, perfect. This one too. We got Mido in the bone. If you HP is at or below 50% uh, at the end of combat, heal 12 HP, as well as a speed potion. And, I mean, an upgrade creative AI. I sort of have to take it now, especially since I have the mummified hand, all right? Okay, I mean, uh, Scarred by Flames. I keep forgetting. That is, I think, the uh, sentries, right? So let's fight them. Okay. All right, so let's do FTL. This one doesn't count against my perfect, so I don't have to perfect this one, but obviously I will try. I don't think I'll rebound anything here, and I think I'll accept the damage. I have sufficient max HP to... Oh, actually, never mind. I'm fully defended anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here let's do FTL. I should have done just sweeping beam. Um, machine learning hits the creative eye, which is the hello world. Okay. All right, I didn't want it to perfect, but it looks like I am perfecting this one. Sweeping me one, sweeping me two, and then core surge, good. Okay, we've got bronze scales, so I just come with three thorns, as well as a fear potion, I don't think I'll take, and if, I mean, if I'm going for the, uh, for a um, orb, not orb deck, a power deck, the fragment is obviously great. Uh, let's take it, and then I just need a storm. That's all I need. All right, got the gremlins here. Uh, let's do, go for the ice, uh, you, rip and tear. And uh, Steam Bear into Fragment, okay. Mm 
Hmm. All right, I really just need a sweeping beam. Let's actually rebound the uh, rip and tear, and then um, actually, never mind. I didn't need to do that. Okay, go for the ice beam, solar darkness. I mean, yeah, let's go for a collector bonus. I should also sort A to Z right away. Yeah, so I already have enough for the go for the ice. And then, is that my first upgrade? Should I? I actually wouldn't mind upgrading one of the machine uh, machine learnings just to have it in my opening hand. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So, Guardian. Uh, let's do machine learning. Uh, let me see what the cool head gives me first. All right, double the fragment. The more frost drops I have, the better. I might have trouble um, transforming next turn. Never mind, I have to rip and tear, so I should be good. Uh, okay, let's do creative AI. And then go for the eyes, rip and tear. Um, yeah, one, and then rip and tear two. And then a strike. Okay, I just need another frost drop. I think I should be good. A loop would be fine. Um, so here I can do defend and loop. I'm, I don't think I can do anything else, right? Because I have 11. All for one would give me back a go for the ice, which would bring me down to five. And I would get attacked by six. So I can't do that. Uh, I can do a zap though. Wait, 11. Yeah, no, I, I calculated this correctly. Really need a frost drop next turn. Uh, okay, this could work. Uh, so I can do capacitor, defragment, and cool headed. So that gives me 1622. And then I can even do go for the ice. Yeah, I should be fine here. Defend, rip and tear. Okay. All right, now I have 16 block. I should be pretty much fine, right? With the loop as well. Uh, electrodynamics, I mean, uh, yeah, it can't hurt. Actually, let's do a storm first. No, no, no. I hmm. This stuff, if I do storm, I might lose, of my, lose my uh, frost orbs. So I am a little hesitant of doing that. Um, I can do electrodynamics. That's not going to hurt anybody. Then core surge, sweeping beam. And let's not transform. And instead, I completely forgot I had a cool headed. Uh, I think I can wait here. Okay. Actually, yeah, he'll transform anyway. And then maybe I should have been aggressive, right? Because I already have so much focus. Uh, let's do defragment, machine learning, steam bear, defend, and then FTL, FTL, and core surge. And then the orb skill. Yeah. Yeah, I underestimated how much damage I'm dealing with the orbs. All right. So I got injury curse, right? Is that a collective bonus? No, wait, what did I get? Oh, I got Wraith. That, that's actually going to be a problem. Now my opening hand is going to be really bad. Uh, I never picked up an all... Oh, no, I did. I did. Okay, let's go for the collective bonus on all for one. And then here, yeah, sort of have to go with the calling bell. Up and pick up. Pick up, obtain a unique curse and three relics. So that brings me up to 157 max HP as well as a gold, uh, data disk. That each come with one focus. Gold plate cables. You write most orb triggers its passive in additional time. And captain's wheel at the start of your third turn gain 18 block. Very nice. I am really worried about my opening hand now with three writhes. Not much I can do. I really just need more innate cards. Um, I see multiple four elite, four elite paths if I stick on the... Wait. No, not multiple. Just one. One four elite path. Okay, yeah, so three question marks shop, and then one, two, three, four elites, and no more question marks after that, which is fine. I have enough curses at this point. Yeah, see, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, so I really have to figure out a way to pull the defend on my first turn. Or kill in my first turn. I mean, I'm not going to complain if that happens. Uh, let's do strike all for one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I should be able to kill... Okay. Got a liquid bronze, which I don't think I'll need. Melter might be nice. Bullseye, fusion. They're all fine. Um, I guess Melter is probably better. There are a few enemies that Melter would be really good at. Could get the Necronomicon. I got an Incaridian instead. At the start of each combat, add a random power card into your hand. It costs zero for that turn. If that gives me heat sinks. I'll be happy. Remove a card. You know what? I'm going to remove the Wraiths. I don't think I can really do well with those, so let's remove one of them. Okay, I got the shelled parasite with a buffer. That's very nice. Um, all right, let's do machine learning, sweeping beam, uh, buffer, strike, and uh, yeah, no need to play the steam barrier. Hmm. Okay, and here I can do go for the ice, go for the ice, all for one, and then kill here. Very nice. It's it's nice to have 11 strength. We got a block potion. Okay, I will take that over the speed potion in case my opening hand requires it. I don't yet have a collector bonus for sweeping beam, I believe, right? And it's a great card. Let's take it. Okay, I was hoping to get a my plus here. That would have made my life much easier. Um, I Wait, I didn't get a collector bonus for creative AI, right? So I could buy that. Let's first go with the Ori. for um, It's 150 gold for five cards, so 30 gold on average. 
Uh, so open pickup, choose and add five cards to your deck. Uh, yep, there is the creative AI. Uh, let me just review everything here. I'll probably take the buffer or heat sinks, actually. Um, streamline might be good here. Here, I'm not sure. Overclock, maybe. And oh, the chill. This is very important. I can upgrade those to end up in my opening hand. Um, and then, yeah, let's take the creative AI here to get a collector bonus. Um, buffer or heat sinks? Heat sinks might be a little better, but no, let's go with the buffer. And then streamline here and. Um, overclock here okay i think that was a very good ori uh with the remaining remaining 90 gold i don't think i need turbo and i already have enough sweeping beam so let's take the equilibrium and i think that's it uh, should i have done the bottle flame no i don't think there's a i could have done a sweeping beam just to have some um draw in the first turn but i don't think that was super necessary uh wow there's nothing i can do here right i can play all my power cards but no way I can defend against 37. Yeah, that, that was going to be always my problem, my opening hand. Yeah, I need to get a few chills upgrade. Although, in this case, the chills would not have helped either. Let's do capacitor, buffer, buffer. I was really hoping one of them would hit the echo form, but not too late for that. Static discharge and then sweeping beam. Okay. FTL, rip and tear, and uh, go for the ice. All right. And yeah, now I'm not even going to take damage from the regrets, which is nice. Okay, and then here I can just kill with the uh, double strike. We got war paint. I'm gonna pick up okay, two random skills. Let me first see what I get here. Uh, let's take more innate machine. I mean, my hand at this point is pretty much all innate, right? Not all, but it's it's just a matter of time. So let's take it. And then I was really hoping for one of the chills to get upgraded, but no. Uh, here I should definitely get up uh, upgrade one of the chills. If there's a way to upgrade more. What else? A boot sequence would be great if I can get it. An innate defensive card. Ugh. All right. So backliner is attacking. I am going to have trouble. Um, so let's do... Hang on, hang on. So I have 22, 26. Uh, if I do buffer, um, that will only prevent the first four damage. Not with the... So, okay, if I do chill, I'll get six block. Uh, if I duplicate the chill... I would get a bunch more, or if I, wait, hang on, it will evoke, so 15 plus 6, 21. Um, with the buffer that will work, I think I'll do that. It's somewhat of a waste of a duplication potion, but I think it's worth it. Oh, I forgot extra extra, um, extra focus. Right, so then actually I am fully defended. All right, let's play all the powers. At least I'm going to draw a lot, so, you know, that's good. Okay, so here, I don't think uh, the offer one is going to help. I should try to get rid of some of the minions. Uh, let's do FTL. Hang on. Yeah, let's FTL you. Then streamline, streamline. Uh, or, no, actually, let me do creative AI and hope it hits something good. It did not, but I can still kill. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm fully defended here. Uh, look at my great opening hand here. So let's do the fragment, core search, sweeping beam, go for the ice, and then see what the overclock gives me. Um, I guess I can do all for one, right? Actually, it just would give me a F um, FTL and go for the ice. So maybe rip and tear is better. And sure, let's see what Hello World gives me. Cool headed for nothing. Okay. Mm, still not getting attacked. That's great. Uh, let's do... I think I can kill the backliner, right? Almost, almost. I feel like I should be able to kill next turn. So let's do machine learning, echo form, machine learning, chill. And then I feel like I should be... I, I should be able to come up with uh, five damage next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, at least I perfect this one, so that's good. All right, so only use one potion for that. We've got Ceramic Fish. Whenever you add a card to get a deck, gain nine gold. And I believe it only gives me uh, nine gold, not 27, even though I'm picking up three cards secondly. Seek would be great. And if I can figure out a way to get that into my opening hand, that would be great. Okay. I've got Parasite as well as Happy Flower. We three turns get extra energy. All right. And then sticking on the left for two more elites. Book of Stabbing. Yeah, Chill alone is not going to be enough here. Oh, actually, he does the big attack, so even the block potion was not going to be enough. All right, fine. Not much I can do there. Okay. Maybe a few storms might help. All right, 12 incoming. Let's do uh, chill. 
Uh, what would I want to seek even? Um, maybe a power, maybe buffer. Uh, yeah, I can't decide. Let's do the buffer. Uh, where is it here? Okay. So buffer, creative AI, and then defend all for one, and that's it. Okay. Hmm. 18, I'm fully defended against that. Uh, let's do go for the ice, machine learning, another machine learning. And then I would like to do creative. Well, you know what? Let's do it. And then I can rebound the rip and tear and then do a strike and play another rip and tear for a kill. Good. Okay, you got toxic egg. One of you add a skill into your deck, upgraded, a skill potion, and an upgraded seek. Yes, yes, that gives me the collector bonus as well. All right, Sneko. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out a way to deal with my opening hand here. Um, that's going to be a problem against... Uh, who's my final boss? Uh, yeah, the champ. If he attacks... I mean, I do have a block potion, so that should help. It incoming. Let's do Melter. Uh, seek for... I'm not sure. Buffer, maybe? Yeah, let's do Buffer. Okay, and then that made the zap cost zero. I can do Rip and Tear. And then maybe Seek... Um, it has to be a one energy card, right? So let's seek a Core Surge. Okay. Hmm. All right, and then here, creative AI, all for one, and that's enough to kill. Right. Okay, consume Sunder Rebound. Uh, uh, actually, I, th I think I have one copy of Rebound, right? So let's take a second one for the collector bonus. Okay. All right, eight incoming. I can do chill, hello world, machine learnings. Okay. So every turn I'm drawing uh, nine cards now. Okay. So more than... Uh, one set of machine, uh, well, four machine learnings, or five machine learnings just doesn't really make sense. All right, let's do buffer, defragment, then sweeping beam. Um, core surge and streamline to kill. Wait, hang on, should I do sweeping beam instead? 20. Um, hang on, let's do these, then streamline, and that's it. Okay. And then this guy's not attacking me, so I can do Melter, FTL, and that's enough to kill. Yeah, I have 14 strength. That makes it easier. Aggregator could be great here if I had more card draw. I'm sort of thinking another Rip and Tear just for the potential collector bonus. I only have one set of it. Yeah, let's take a second one. Okay. Ah, these guys again. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. Even the chill. Well, let me see what the skill potion gives me. Multicast. I, I mean, I have the energy. I'm not sure if it'll be enough, but let's give it a try. So let's do machine learning, machine learning, save all my energy, basically. Then do chill, and then do multicast. Actually, yeah, that should be enough. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, and then here, I need to deal some serious damage. So let's do FTL, go for the ice. And then I should have rebounded something, right? Well, I can get them back with the all for one. So let's do all for one. Okay. And then uh, FTL again. Uh, go for the ice. Actually, that doesn't kill. Let's rebound the go for the ice. And then rebound. Actually, rip and tear kills. Good. All right. Perfect. This one, we got thread needle. Strike come with four plated armor as well as a speed potion. And I'm not sure if I like bias ignition. For long fights, it's going to be a little annoying. But I mean, it is a power. Rainbow might be better. Let's take the rainbow. Okay. Might also give me a dark orb, which might allow me to deal more than 100 damage, because I am not currently doing that. I'll just play all of these. Okay. All right, at least thanks to the gold plated cables, I am getting extra block from the frost orb. Uh, all right, so 21 incoming here. Let's do... Uh, I'm probably going to seek zero cost cards because I have so many alpha ones, so let's grab a... Uh, Oh, these are not sorted well. Okay, go for the ice is great. And then let's grab another... I'm not sure. Another chill, why not? Okay. And then I'll do overclock. Okay, creative AI, all for one. Go for the ice. I could do another overclock, sure. Or surge, another all for one. Or should I just do... You know what? Let's do dual cast. That way I don't take any damage. Well, except for from the regret, of course. Okay. And then here, I don't need much to kill. Uh, let's just do Melter twice. Okay. All right. So loop, double energy, sweeping beam. I already have enough of this. Let's go with the loop. Might not be a bad idea. Okay. And then the next upgrade should be... Well, I already have a bunch of innate... Oh, chill, chill, right? Another chill. Okay. 
I was going to upgrade another uh, machine learning, but I know that that is not really necessary. Okay, 16 incoming. So I do need that block potion. Let's do chill one, chill two, then play all the creative AIs and ma machine learnings. Okay. And yeah, there's no way around playing the um, block potion, right? I have to. Okay. All right, so hang on. I have 13 block each turn without playing any defensive cards, so that's good. Let's do another creative AI. I don't think I'll do Hello World. My hand will get to full, although it might give me the defensive card I needed. Uh, so streamline, go for the ice. Let's see what the overclock gives me. Buffer is perfect. And then another streamline. Okay. Wasn't able to get the rip and tear played, but I think this is fine. All right, not getting attacked here. I don't think I need another machine learning, but I definitely want heat sinks. Well, well hang on. Let's just take this charge. And then core surge, defend, go for the ice. Uh, fine, let's do machine learning just to draw. And then all for one, go for the ice, go for the ice, overclock. Uh, he'll, oh, actually, I think I'll force him to transform next turn, right? All right, in that case, let's focus a little bit on attack. Because mm -hmm. now I need to deal 180 something damage in two turns. Okay, so, all right, I have an upgraded seek. I could also just get more buffers, right? So let's do echo form. No, no, let's do the cheap ones first. So bias cognition, uh, then defragment. The uh, might as well do rip and tear. Okay. And then I think I'm going to seek two buffers. Uh, oh, actually, this seek can give me two cards. So let's seek uh, that and a zero cost card, maybe. Or another seek. Wait, did I mess that up? I could have... Hang on, let's do let's do buffer. I should have played uh, counted cards. How many cards did I play? Because I feel like that must have been five and I might be able to keep going. So let, let's assume that was five. This will be six. Um, then seven. And then eight. Let's get the other six. Okay. Nine. And I'm just doing that to play more cards, basically. Ten, eleven. Okay, I cannot do any more six, but I could do an all for one... Might be a little overkill. Let's do a chill. 11. Okay, I'm getting a little bored already. But no, no, let's try to do this. So let's seek. I do want to do an all for one at some... Wait, do I have one in my hand? I don't. Yeah, so let's do it at some point. And then maybe another power like loop. Or no, a zero cost card like FDL, of course. So let's do FDL. And then another seek. Uh, I don't think I need a second. So just zero cost card. So let's just get the FDLs. Okay. All right, and then I can do all four. Am I going to kill before I get to play uh, enough cards? Yeah, I am. Okay, let's do over uh, clock, and then I am not sure if that was 20 cards. Might have not been, but yeah, I perfected this one. We got a flex potion, and upgrade electrodynamics is great. Hi Amplify might be good too, but let's go with the electrodynamics. Also, what is the curse I just got? Um, luckily, not another set of writhes. Doubts. Yeah, I'm okay with doubts. All right, um... Pandora's box up and pick up trumps from all strikes and defense cards. I mean, that'll just make my deck ridiculously, hilariously large. But yeah, let's do it. Why not? Okay, so Hyper Beam Meter Strike. I am surprised. I did not get any collectibles if, except for Streamline, right? I believe. Uh, no, that's... Wait, no, that is... Okay, so that is my... The only collectibles I got is the Streamline. Um, and I already have too many Sweeping Beams, so this is fine. I, I really would like a Mind Class. That would make my life so much easier. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, I don't see a five lead path. Yeah, right side has only three lead paths. Um, I would have to stick on the left. So um, I can either after this point decide to go left or right. Both are four lead paths. If I decide uh, to go left, I'll get one, two, three. If I decide to go right... I'll just do two. Okay. And up until that point, I can do two question marks um, or I can do one question mark in a shop, but I'd rather maximize question marks. Um, yeah, let's hope one of the question marks will be a shop. It would be a shame if uh, other people get to that shop and, um, you know, are able to buy a Mind Blast, for example. All right, let's do, uh, yeah, buffer, machine learnings, and then the chills. Yeah, against the UE fights, I'm pretty good with my chills. It's just, you know, for non AoE fights. Okay. So here. Wait, how do I have extra energy? Eh, eh, I'm not going to complain. Let's do Meteor Strike. Actually, before I do, let's do Steam Barrier. Then a Meteor Strike. Okay. And then I can do. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to get another chill, right? To gain some energy back. There it is. 
And sure, I'll do the fragment too. Let's do chill. Okay, then the fragment, sweeping beam, rate of AI. Before I play that, let's let's just grab another sweeping beam. Some good. Actually, I could have done electrodynamics too, right? But this this also works. Okay. All right, streamline sweeping beam. Go for the S. I already have collector bonus for all of these. Actually. All right. Well, if I have all of them, let's just take another sweeping beam. Okay. Or Parker. Ten incoming. Uh, double chill and play all of these. Okay. Mm. Thirteen. Uh, yeah, meteor strike is great. Uh, let's do go for the ice meteor strike. I keep doing that. If I do meteor strike, well, at least I'll be fully defended. Actually, I think I can just kill here, right? Yeah, let me not make my life harder. Tempest. Uh, I don't have an infinite amount of block. I already have enough rebounds. Let's go with the compile driver. Okay. Uh, Rising Mass, I could try to get a curse out of this. I mean, sure, why not? Let's double chill. Electrodynamics. Should have done that probably before the chill, so... Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, 10 incoming. Now, the, the secret here is I have to attack without killing, which is a challenge. Uh, oh, okay, that works. I'm not going to complain there. Let's double the fragment, and I'll do Equilibrium here, too. That okay, should make my next turn pretty easy. All right, look at that, 111 max HP, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, let's do FTL, then a rip and tear, streamline, and then melter for a kill, good. Okay, we got a dex potion, which I don't need. Uh, did I get a collector bonus for the fragment? I did not, okay, so let's get that. And then, yeah, move on. Okay, got the darklings, again, should be fine with thanks to the chills. And then the fragment. It could have done the fragment first, but it doesn't matter anyway. Okay. I guess the time meter matters. I am hoping for a better potion. It's like maybe a block potion, duplication potion, or even even a um, potion that allows me to draw would be good. Uh, let's do um, course search. Oh, actually, that doesn't kill. Hang on. Rebound. Go for the ice. Rebound and course search. Okay. Got a dex potion again, and I mean, sure, why not? Let's go for a collector bonus and chill. I might also help with the fence. Okay, this was a shop. Good. No mind plus though. Um, you know what? Let's do. Let's go all in out. Bunch of innate cards then. Let's take the storm. In terms of relics, I should be fine, right? I should be able. I'm gonna get another four, five guaranteed uh, relics. So I don't need to buy any of the relics. Instead, let's go for, yeah, just buy all the cards, right? Charge battery, recursion, sunder. I already have enough. Go for the S and let's take finesse. And since I can afford it, um, let's take Vajra. Surge. Well, do I need that? Yeah, sure. Surge come with the one additional strength. And then I don't really need the rest. So I think I can move on. Okay. All right. Nemesis. Yeah, now the problem is I'm not going to draw enough chills. Uh, let's do static. Uh, hang on. Uh, so this will just give me 9 plus 4, 13. I need 18, so I think I need to evoke them. So let's do chill, chill. Then uh, storm, storm. Machine learning, stack discharge. And yeah, that way... No, never mind. I thought I would be fully defended, but I'm not. Yeah, and there's nothing I could have done. So that was the most I could have come up with block. Yeah, unfortunate. All right, 18. Yeah, there are my chills. A little too late for that. All right, uh, let's do storm, machine learning, charge or uh, yeah, charge battery, sweeping beam, chill, chill, chill. A fragment maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just an unlucky opening hand. That's all. Um, all right, here let's do meteor strike. Okay, then loop. All right, that gives me energy back, and then I can do melter to kill. Good. Okay. Yeah, Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck, as well as, I think that would be a collective bonus and buffer, right? Yeah, I only have one set. All right. And then I decided to go on the left, right? That will give me uh, one extra question mark. Okay. Uh, yeah, the wraiths are a problem. It would give me a collective bonus. I mean, I'll take it just for the collective bonus, I guess. I could also just get a collective bonus from this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take the mana assist, get a collector bonus for that, and that way I also don't have a completely garbage opening hand. Alright, so having multiple chills is nice. Uh, in this case, I would like to end up with chills, so let's do the storms and powers first and then close up with the chills. Okay. 
Uh, should I have done the chills first, actually? No, no, I think this is fine. Alright. Should have probably kept one of the chills in, in case I want to get back with an alpha one. Uh, Alright, so let's do storm, machine learning, and buffer. Then chill. And then compile driver. Wait, am I fully defended? No, but I should be able to kill the backline if needed. Then defragment, melter, chill. And then all for one should kill. Good. All right, got a letter opener. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. A smoke bomb I don't need. And I did not have enough seeks, right? I did have enough buffers. So many cards already. Uh, oh, no, never mind. I did have enough seeks. Okay, then I'll take the amplify. All right, and then going on the right for an extra question mark. Got a uh, collector bonus for doubt as well as Nuchaku. Every time you play 10 attacks and extra energy. Okay. Am I up to 175 cards? That's, uh, that's impressive. All right, not getting attacked here. In that case, let me save the chills and just do a bunch of orbs. Storm, storm, electrodynamics, machine learning, machine learning, and another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's probably keep the chills in case I want to get them back with an alpha one. I should I have kept a few? Yeah, because if I get attacked here, I might have trouble. Um, so hang on, let's do chill. Uh, wait. Yeah, I think I'll do chill. Hang on, it'll be six ten. It's only ten block, not not a uh, thirteen. Let me do madness. See what the sweeping gives me. Sunder. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. I don't think I have a choice here. Uh, or actually, wait. If I evoke it, it'll be. Uh, not more, right? Uh, well, it'll be um, what six? It's the same as if I don't evoke and get it to the front. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's do chill. Another storm, another machine learning. Okay, yeah, so I only have 10 block, unfortunately. Yeah, I I don't know what to do there. Maybe I should have just grabbed some more orbs, uh, frost orbs, basically. Or I have to get lucky and draw the buffer at the right time. Let's do the fragment. Uh, re uh, buffer. I can't do the creative AI. Let's do finesse, recursion, and then um, I can do compile driver and... Uh, Cool headed and reboot. Okay. Mm. Also, I'm upset that I wasn't able to deal more than 100 damage. The giant head would have been the best best time to try it. Uh, okay, let's do. Kind of want to do. Hang on. Um. Yeah, I can't really do meter strike, right? So let's do creative AI. Okay. Well, now I can do meter strike. Do that, then the fragment, gain energy back. Oh, he's dead. Good. Got Pentograph at the Starbots Combat Sale 25 HP, as well as I think I have enough of these, so let's go with the Hyper Beam. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm okay losing. You know what? One upgrade machine learning. I already have too many. Let's lose one of those. I am totally willing to accept losing one out of 174 cards, 78 cards. Okay, so here again, gonna do these storms. One, two, three, four. And the machine learnings and then the chills okay mm -hmm. all right this guy's not attacking good uh i can do meteor strike i'll be fully defended uh do i want to do that uh no actually what i think i'll do instead let's do sweeping beam then streamline okay i kind of want to do hyper beam yeah you want know that kills too okay Got Fossilized Helix, that's really good. Prevent the first time you would lose HP each combat. That's sort of what I need. Uh, and you know what? I'm not going to need the Speed Potion, so let's get rid of that. Um, and did I get enough Creative EIs at this point? I did. Okay. So let's get the Collect Bonus for Hyper Beam. All right. Okay, so here, 20 incoming. I should be fine, right? I, I'll play the Storms at the end. So the Fragment, Machine Learning, Machine Learning, and then the Chills. Uh, this is enough, good. Well, this is actually a little more than enough, but fine. And then here I can do buffer, machine learning. I should have done the storm first. Another machine learning. And then chill. And kill. Good. Okay, skim, beam cell, barrage. Let's go with the upgraded skim. Okay. And then here, fight for a rare relic. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is this is all fine. The real challenge will come when I have to face the final boss and try to defend in my first turn. 
Wish I had some uh, swift potions or something. All right, chill one, chill two. Might as well do chill, chill three. Why not? Trigger the uh, letter opener for a little bit extra block. Uh, no, extra damage, I mean. Okay, hyper beam uh, is almost enough to kill. Uh, well, let's do that. And then defragment storm. Should have done the storm first. And then that kills. Good. We got calipers at the start of your turn. Lose 15 block rather than all of your block. That might help, actually. And I don't think I need an energy potion. And here, I don't think I can get a collector bonus unless I already have recursion, which looks familiar. Yeah, I have it. Let's get at that. Okay, at least I have, I think, a decent amount of collector bonuses, which should help me. Okay, uh, what to upgrade next? Oh, yeah, the other chill. Okay. All right, time eater, who is not attacking me on the first turn. That's really lucky. Let's drink this. Okay. So I do want to end up with a bunch of frost orbs. Uh, so let's get there. Let's do storm, storm, machine learning, storm again, and then hello world, and then the chills. Okay. It does mean I can only play three cards next turn, but hopefully that'll be enough. Okay. All right, 30. Actually, no, it'll be uh, 36, right? I have to prepare for 36. Uh, how do I prepare for 36 if I... Actually, I have a buffer, so it's really just 24. And against that, I should be fine. Okay. So let's do chill, chill, and then I think I'll just do melter. Okay. Uh, Alright, almost had enough 30... Uh, oh, wait. Why was it 39? What did I miscalculate? I'm confused. I miscalculated. I, should, I thought it would be 36. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Alright, I am still in trouble, though. So I have 12 plus I have 30. I have 27 incoming. Okay, that's fine. I can also weaken, which is nice. Let's do go for the ice, go for the ice recursion. Then creative AI and melter. I think the creative AI... Oh, I totally forgot to get rid of my frost orbs. That is a problem because I don't have a good reliable way of getting back my frost orbs. So I really just need to rely on buffers here. Um, this isn't enough. All right. I did not expect that. Got super lucky there. Where did Thunderclap even come from? Because I didn't have one in my... Oh, I did. I did, right, from the... Um, from the Pandora's box. Okay, I mean, I can't complain about that. 1998, that's a really good score. So close to passing the 2000 threshold. I mean, uh, so I uh, was very lucky in perfecting all the bosses. Um, the elites though, I think I missed a lot. I got everybody on act one and then it was just sporadic on act two and three, uh, just because of my opening hand. Once, once you have the writhes already, that's, that's just going to mess up everything. Um, I did get a like shiny light speed stuffed curses. Those, those were the stuffed curses and it's going I think are, everybody would have gotten. So that one is easy. I think the thing that set me apart is the collector bonuses and that's all just pure luck, right? I, I even got, I think two collector bonuses from curses, which that is purely luck. So I got doubt and, uh, not not Rife, there's something else I got, right? Um, but yeah, no, got combo. It must have been that one turn where I was counting cards. That must have been the combo turn. Did not get overkill. Might have been possible since I had a rainbow with the dark orb, but uh, probably would have taken long. But yeah, the overkill would have given me another 25 points, which would have put me above the 2000 threshold. But I'm pretty happy with 1998. All right, let's review the score. Uh, I am 12th right now. That's, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So um, I was able to beat Ignatio and Vorpal by about 50 and 75 points. So I'm guessing that it'll probably all just come down to collector bonuses. Um, yeah, I'd be surprised if there's much variation. Uh, and of course, you know, getting unlucky against the boss. Uh, like I got really lucky against the last one. Um, it was a slightly p worse draw. It would have gone much differently. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you did. I am curious if anybody was able to get a... Um, Mind Blast, because that I think would have made the whole run way easier. But uh, you know what? 1998, I'll take that score as a pretty good score. So thanks for watching. Bye.